Well, this is an exciting attempt to do the first of whenever I feel like it commentaries on video because you know how exciting it is to use the technology packed in an iPhone, which, as you know, is many, 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 many times greater than what they had in Apollo. Um, anyway, that's all a moot point now because Obama's ruining the space program. But anyway, I digress. Interesting thought I had this weekend. The thought, among other thoughts, is this. Everybody's excited and, and agitated about gas prices. The president says it's not political, as it was, of course, when Bush was in charge. But beyond all of that, I find it interesting that uh, a couple of things. People will drive around all day increasing their fossil fuel consumption and carbon footprint, looking to save three or four cents a gallon. That seems a little weird. But isn't it strange that in America today that, that most people seem to get really, really upset about gas prices, and reason to get upset, but more than anything else. There were beheadings this week in Afghanistan. Why? Because the Taliban, in one of the villages where they have more control, actually got upset because people had satellite phones. And they said, you got satellite phones, you must be CIA, Western evildoers, and all of that. Oh, there's that good and evil thing again that Santorum was talking about this week. Wow. And uh, I've lost track of the apologies that we've given now about the uh, Islamic materials incident. At uh, Did the president do an apology today or was it only about gas prices? I wish we could take what energy we get. I'm not talking gas and oil here, but the energy we get from the American people when it's, whoa, look, it's gone up 20 cents, it being a gallon of gas. Turn that into something great for the things that really matter most, like freedom, liberty. You know what I'm saying? See you next time. How do I turn this thing off? Oh, there we go.